Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you my each way Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse racing action. Just uh, quickly reflect on uh, how Saturday's action went. We uh, did uh, a few selections at Wind Canton because I did a preview of the card there because I do the social media on their race days there on their Facebook and Twitter. I had a bit of good fun. I only had one winner in the end out of the uh, six uh, races I selected at Wincant and that was with Dash and Perk for Richard Newland and Harry Cobden was a very comfortable easy winner won by 20 plus lengths in the end and that was our only uh, good result at Wincant and away from the Wincant selections I also did our normal each way lucky 15 uh, action and we actually had two winners from four selections in that one and it was definitely a good day's uh, racing on Saturday Saturday, the likes of Sandown and Chepstow. Uh, our two winners both came at Sandown. We uh, had uh, Poppy K in the 12.45 for Philip Hobbs and Richard Johnson. It was a very good game performance in the end to take that listed race. So that wasn't a bad selection there. And then our uh, nap uh, was uh, Call Me Lord for Nicky Henson and Nico de Boinville. Did the job very nicely. And we managed to get that one at 4-1 to one overnight. It was very well backed throughout the day. Final SP on that one was 5 to two, so it's definitely a good spot by me there. Our other two selections were Perfect Pirate, that one didn't really live up to expectations in the 120 at Sandown, and our long shot was Arsenal Weatherman in the Welsh Grand National, was prominent for quite a long way but got ridden along by uh, Nick Schofield on the second circuit and in the end got pulled up, but only about six or seven horses actually managed to finish in the Welsh Grand National in the end. It was definitely a testing slog for the horses, but it was a definitely a good uh, win for for uh, James Byrne and Gavin Cromwell in that race. So, all in all, it wasn't the worst day we've ever had on Saturday. Also, as well, just want to apologise for not making a video for today's horse race in action. I was really shattered after my day at Wincant, and then as a result, I was just too tired when I got in in the evening. So, apologies for not making a video for today's action. Anyway, I'm going to be getting stuck into tomorrow's horse racing, and we're going to be focusing on the two jump cards at Fontwell and at Hereford. We're going to be doing the same format as we normally do now over for the last week which uh, we introduced um, we uh, do a nap we do an next best an unknown and also a long shot so um, each uh, horse here represents a different category and we're starting with the unknown tomorrow now the reason it's an unknown is because it hasn't won over hurdles yet and we start in the 115 at Fontwell which is a maiden hurdle for mares and I'm going with a horse here called My Dance. Now, it's trained by Anthony Honeyball, and uh, Aidan Coleman takes a ride tomorrow. Now, this horse, uh, last time, made its hurdle debut at Fontwell in heavy ground over two miles and three furlongs. They're dropping it back to two miles tomorrow, and I definitely think that's a very good move for this horse. It's shaped with a lot of promise last time out, and I definitely think, like I said, the slight drop back in trip should definitely help it because it just really got tired in the last furlong or two of the race and I think definitely the drop back in trip will help this. Also as well, it's run on the heavy ground, it's by Kaif Tara, so it should definitely handle it. Kaif Tara's uh, prodigy normally go very well on heavy ground and I thought this horse had a very good chance tomorrow. It's currently 8-1 with bookmakers at the moment and I thought you could do a lot worse in this race if you were looking for an each way angle. Also as well, there's a lot of horses in here that obviously they haven't won over hurdles because it's a maiden hurdle but maybe haven't had the greatest form and I thought maybe my dance could definitely be an improver um, and could go well with Anthony Honeyball as well having a very good record at Fontwell so that's the first selection uh, tomorrow we then uh, go to Hereford for the next best in the 230 with a horse called Steel Native it's currently around 4-1 to one at the moment trained by David Rees and James Byrne takes the ride tomorrow taking a valuable £5 off now this horse won quite well at uh, Foss Lass last time out and that's where it normally does a lot of its running it's had two uh, wins from three races this season and and even when it didn't win, it finished fifth. And it wasn't too far beaten that day at Foss Lass. And it hasn't really raced away uh, in its career from Foss Lass. But it definitely likes the heavy conditions. Also as well, it should stay the three miles. It has won over three miles before at Foss Lass. And I thought it could definitely go very well tomorrow. And I thought the £5 claim could definitely make all the difference. And I thought this one is definitely the one to beat in the race tomorrow. And I thought he wasn't bad value at 4-1. to one, And he's going to be our next best tomorrow. We 
then go to the 245 of a horse called Ticking Away, uh, trained by Robert Wolford, who's been in very good form of late, had a winner at Wynn Canton on Saturday. Now, uh, Harry Cobden takes the ride, and he tends to ride uh, Funtwell quite well. Now, this uh, horse uh, finished uh, sixth at Taunton the last time, and it wasn't too far beaten that day, and that race has produced a bit of a good piece of form. Now the horse that won that race at Taunton was a horse of Nicky Henderson, if I can get the pronunciation right. It's called DZA De Beefs. That's now rated 135. And the horse that finished second in that race has gone on and won. And DZA De Beefs actually put in a good performance at Kempton over Christmas to finish uh, second behind a good horse of Harry Fry called If the Cap Fits. And that's uh, really well tipped to maybe go well at Cheltenham but I thought this piece of form where it finished sixth that day and was only beaten about seven or eight lengths was definitely an encouraging run also as well makes its handicap debut tomorrow off a mark of 112 and I thought that wasn't too bad considering it finished only six or seven lengths behind a horse rated 135 and also as well I thought maybe with the easing conditions tomorrow that should definitely suit it and I thought a seven or two he could definitely win in his handicap debut tomorrow and also as well he's going to be in receipt of a lot of weight so uh, that's the nap selection tomorrow ticking away in the 245 at Fontwell. We then go back to uh, Hereford in the 3 o'clock for the Juvenile Maiden Hurdle. Now there's a lot of horses in here that are obviously making their debuts over hurdles tomorrow. But actually if you look through the race, I thought the top of the market were maybe pretty not very good well priced really i thought they were definitely overpriced in my opinion i think ard wolf the ex mark johnston runner won't get the trip he's more of a seven furlong or mile specialist i was a bit unsure if he would get the trip and also as well he might need the run even though he is trained by one greater x and champion jockey richard johnson takes the ride tomorrow i thought you could maybe discount him the skeleton runner pretty much unsure of it got well beaten on uh, its hurdle debut but the one i've gone for my, i thought was quite an interesting runner it's uh, a horse called let's be happy it's currently 16 and 1 with bookmakers at the moment it's the long shot tomorrow trained by ali strong brendan powell takes the ride it won uh, twice on the flat and yes it wasn't the greatest uh, flat runner ever but it's by uh, um, a horse called Master Craftsman who tends to love testing conditions. Also as well, in its um, flat career, it's tended to run over the longer trip. So I thought it could definitely maybe get this trip tomorrow. Also as well, I thought... If you actually look at the race tomorrow, there's a lot of horses in here that I was a bit concerned with the trip about if they would be able to last that long because they're going to be very tired at the end. And I thought maybe the stamina could come into play here. And I thought this one, let's be happy, it's 16-1 could run a very good race tomorrow and should definitely make the frame and if you wanted to do an each way bet i thought he wasn't a bad selection to go with and i thought he was very interesting so that's going to be the selection there and uh, hopefully we can have a good day tomorrow if you've got any better tips or if you think i'm barking up the wrong tree with any of my tips let me know in the comments box below also as well please subscribe to the youtube channel here at lucky loaders 15 you can also uh, follow my progress on twitter and on facebook as well and the same name also as well i've only got one week to go until i start my work placement with at the races so i'm really looking forward to that and i will be doing the vlogs hopefully as well whilst uh, working with at the races uh, so stay tuned with my progress there also as well thanks for all your amazing support so far gamble responsibly and hopefully we can have a good day tomorrow